Good afternoon, more Medic One. Today we're going to talk about how to repair strip threads. Uh, most of the time on these chainsaws that uh, people's worked on, uh, the say the exhaust port threads will get stripped out, and, or in this case, the uh, the threads that hold the uh, the cylinder to the sump, those threads are are gone. And there's nothing there to hold it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you what I like to use. Uh, to repair these threads um, a lot of times people will have to just replace the cylinder because they have no way to tighten it up what I like to do is use a what they call a helicoil and they make all kinds of different kinds uh, this one's made by OEM and it comes with everything you need this one's actually a six millimeter by 1.0 get it opened up here and I'll show you the contents comes with uh, a tap, comes with the helicoil driver, and uh, an assortment of uh, helicoils. This one happens to be uh, six millimeter by 1.0, and this is going to be the threads that you actually install inside the, uh, the stripped out part. If you read the tap, it says it needs to be a 6.3 millimeter drill bit or a quarter inch. What we're going to do is go ahead and we're going to drill this out to a quarter inch, get rid of all the old damaged threads. And now we're going to install the tap inside the, uh, the tool. So, and as straight as you can, we're going to start this tap. We're going to thread it all the way through. If the hole is square, it'll feed itself in there square. Back it up to clear the threads. Start again. Back it up, clear the threads. If you're, now, if you're doing this in a blind hole, you might want to put some uh, grease or some lubricant on the tap. I would recommend putting some oil on it anyway. This is just for demonstration purposes. Go ahead and back it up, clear the threads. Now we're all the way through. Go ahead and back out the tap all the way. And blow out the chips. As you can tell, we have threads now for our helicoil. We're going to remove our tap from the installer. We're going to install the helicoil onto the installer here. We're going to thread it down into the hole using light downward pressure. You want to run the helicoil down into the hole approximately three, two or three threads past the top of your threads that you made with a tap. About like that right there. Get you a screwdriver and all and break the tang. It says here in the instructions you can actually break the tang using the tool, pull it up, turn it 90 degrees, and you can push that tang out that holds it on. Let me get a smaller screwdriver. There it goes. Now you're able to thread the bolt in 
Now you've got brand new threads. Build is brand spanking new. This is actually a stronger repair, or the repair is actually stronger than the factory just threaded into aluminum. You have actually now have more surface area for the bolt to bite on around it to hold against the aluminum so when you tighten it down. But uh, if you have any questions about how to helicoil a uh, strip threads, let me know. More Medic 1. Y'all have a good day.